Six shocking facts not mentioned in Making a Murderer. Number one, two members of the jury had links to Manitowoc County, the county which Stephen Avery was suing for his wrongful 1985 sexual assault conviction for which he served 18 years in prison before being exonerated. The son of one juror worked for Manitowoc's sheriff's department, while the wife of another was employed as a clerk. Number two, Prosecutor Ken Kratz was involved in a sexting scandal and has been diagnosed with narcissistic personality disorder. He sent sexually coercive messages to a young woman while prosecuting her ex-boyfriend for domestic abuse. As a result, his law license was suspended for four months, and during the disciplinary hearing, it was disclosed that he suffers from narcissistic personality disorder. Number three, the prosecution's key DNA expert, Shelley Culhane, had the worst record in her lab. Records indicate that she had the highest error rate among the DNA analysts at the Madison Crime Lab between 2004 and 2006. Culhane was also the DNA witness in Avery's original 1985 trial. Number four, Avery's ex-fiance, Jody Stakowski, has claimed that he was abusive and threatened her to act supportive during the filming of Making a Murderer. Avery has responded to the claims by stating that he believes that Jody was paid by the authorities to make these allegations against him. Number five, the family of Sheriff Robert Herman, the then undersheriff of Manitowoc, own a salvage yard in the same region, making them competitors against the Averys. Number six, the documentary's directors believe the government tried to suppress their project. The state attempted to subpoena their documentary footage, but with the help of a lawyer, they were able to quash the subpoena. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to subscribe, like, and comment.